Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for September 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? All right, so no long intros today. Uh, I just want to say thank you for being patient with me in getting these monthly readings out because shit has been real, honey. All right, so um, Leo, let's get into your pre-shuffle here. Not surprisingly, your reading is very similar to Cancer. But y'all are right next to each other, so like, what the fuck ever, right? But you even got some of the very some of the same cards as Cancer did, which is nuts. But you have the Chariot, the Tower, the Two of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. But you have that with the Two of Wands, and then at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Ugh. All right, so Leo, check it out. Um, I really feel like there's there's a partnership, a bond, a relationship that's on the horizon for you here, Two of Cups, that I feel like is going to change everything for you, okay? The Tower with the Wheel of Fortune. And whether you want to admit it at this point or not, Leo, you have been manifesting this. You have been on well on your way, moving real strong, really forward towards this situation. So what this feels like for me is... You got into alignment with yourself or into greater alignment with yourself and what it is that you actually want out of life. And you've been driving in that direction. And now all of a sudden something's coming up where you might actually get exactly what it is that you want. But I don't think you really want it. Or I don't think you're, you're not really allowing yourself to take it. Four of cups. Because you're guarded about something. Nine of wands. You have a decision to make, Leo. Is this really what I want or not? That's what I just heard. Take your time to deliberate, sure. Pay attention to the red flags, of course, but also don't let your pride and your ego get in the way, Leo. Because with this situation, I feel like that's a real... It's not so much of a danger as it could be like a hindrance or a detriment, you know? And you could, you could quite possibly, I mean, it was the Four of Cups, you could quite possibly miss out on an opportunity for love. Yeah, see, look at that, Leo. The Ten of Cups just flipped over. Come on, honey. With the hanged man. Okay, come on, come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Didn't I say that to you a few months ago? Girl, please, stop fronting. Shit, stop fronting. <laughs> All right, Leo, let's get into the rest of this here and see what we've got for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, kids, we're going to do this five shuffled one. Two. Three. For my Leos, four. And five. All right, Leo. Let's see what we've got for you here. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Just let's just let that marinate for a second. The seven of swords. The Seven of Swords, Leo. Uh, what I want to say, what I just heard for some of you, y'all are the masters of hiding things from yourselves. Can you like, thank you. You're the master, masters of self-deception at this point. Your pride and your ego is getting in the way. Underneath the Seven of Swords is temperance. Underneath temperance is the Knight of Wands. And underneath the Knight of Wands is the Page of Wands. Okay. 
leave it to the last, the last sign for the month to really make me have to work for your message. I can't stand y'all, man. <laughs> Fucking Leos. Anyway, I love y'all. I mean, either I'm a Leo moon or I'm a Leo rising. So like, there you go. Um, <laughs> but your pride and your ego is standing in the way. That's what I'm hearing. It's almost as if you don't want to let people in on the fact that you're changing, that you're activated some way, that, that you're sprung in some way. The vibe that I'm getting from temperance here is that you have to let the universe help you. It could be that some of you are really going through a process of transforming or coming into greater balance and harmony and integration, but also you don't necessarily want people to know about it. Something or someone has activated you here, Leo. Changing the game, flipping the script on you. It may have come out of nowhere also with this Seven of Swords. It may have just completely like shown up and now you're like, what the fuck is this? I get that. <laughs> I get that. I was good on my own until your dumb ass came up in here and changed everything. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. First half of your reading here, Leo. First set of surrounding energies you have. The Six of Pentacles. Leo, I'm not sure why, but I just feel like I want to say to you, you have to be fair to yourself. And that's part of what this temperance energy is also saying. It's like, don't deceive yourself so much. If something has activated you, if something has, has got you sprung or inspired to move forward in some way, allow yourself the reciprocity to follow through with that. The same reciprocity that you allow to other people. It's kind of what I want to say here. Six of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah. The Knight of Cups. If your heart wants to, if your heart is telling you to move in a certain direction, Leo, allow yourself to do that. Again, don't let your pride or your ego or the circumstances or other people's opinions or the circumstances that other people are dealing with, don't let that dictate how you run your life. I feel like a lot of you have some strong, I feel like a lot of what's going on here is your sense of duty and responsibility to other to certain other people. And that's very Leo. Leo is very family oriented. Leo is very pack oriented. They will do anything for the people that they consider to be part of their pack, part of their community or part of their family. But you have to honor yourself in the process as well. You can't let yourself completely be forgotten here. And whereas other people may not really honor you or, or may forget you, it is imperative that you don't do that to yourself. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading, you have the High Priestess here. <clears throat> Leo, y'all are really making me work for this right now. The High Priestess is mystery. Deep understanding. I'm hearing coming to terms with some things. Allowing yourself to dive into the unknown. If we are talking about a certain relationship here, I think one of the reasons why you might be very guarded or closed off or kind of deceptive in this situation is because you don't know what's about to happen. You have no idea where this is going to go. And yet everything in you could be calling for you to pursue this, to follow this. The guidance is right. The guidance is real. But then your, your ego or your pride gets in the way and it's like, look, I'm not sticking my neck out for nobody. Or I'm not, I'm not, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You must be joking, right, universe? No, we're not joking. There are some unknown elements to this, Leo. Yes, of course, but you have to trust in your intuition and you have to trust in the universe here. The High Priestess is coupled with the Eight of Swords. This is definitely your ego getting in the way, saying, I can't do that. I can't do that, spirit. I can't do that. I can't send that message. I can't go to that party. I can't go to that place. I can't go talk to that person. I can't pursue this, that, and the third. Why? Because you don't know what's going to happen here? Why is that ever a reason to stop yourself from moving forward with what you're intuitively being guided towards or what you're being aligned with or what you're being pushed towards? You really, Leo, I really, I'm, I, look, don't shoot the messenger, honey, but I really feel like you've got to put your pride aside here. Your challenge. 
is the king of pentacles. <laughs> okay, well, sure, you're very, you're very rooted in your ways. The king of pentacles is a fixed sign, just like Leo. Okay, but technically the king of pentacles represents Taurus, but it's representing you here, Leo, because you're very set in your ways. And I understand that. There's probably a very good reason for that, Leo. I get it. But at the same time, this being rooted and stuck in the same old thing is never going to get you anywhere new. And I know you want new in your life. Everybody does. Even those people that are deathly afraid of it and don't want it, they still do, or say they don't want it, they still do want it. They're just afraid to accept it. This is you being locked and loaded and, and, and just like, like rooted. Your challenge is to be, is to re-identify, is to come out of that. King of Pentacles is coupled with. The lovers. You know, this is a very, this is an in interesting thing because what I, what I channeled for Cancer in their reading was that, um, Oh, shit. I lost it. Oh, let's basically to let someone in or allow your reality to be changed because of what's coming through for you here. Like with cancer, it was y'all are real. They're real good on their own. They really don't need anybody coming in. Do they want someone? Yeah, sure. I'll take a partner, but like I don't need it. So you're going to have to work real hard to prove it to me, to convince me, to, to plead your case. Because I'm good. Ain't even pressed, ain't even stressed. Okay, well, Leo, here you go. In your challenge, you've got the King of Pentacles and the Lovers. There's a choice to be made here that could be for your betterment, for your highest good. But in order for you to reach that, Leo, you're going to have to come out of some sort of sedentary state. Which is the better decision for yourself, by the way. That's what I just heard. To allow, yourself, to allow yourself to reshape, to grow, to expand, to change, to try something new, right? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo. Ooh. There's that wheel of fortune again. And the one part about that that really stands out to me is the fortune aspect of it. Because I don't think you realize just how fortunate you're going to be once you allow this change to happen. Oh, it just started raining. Oh, shit, it just started raining and I still have laundry out there. All right, closing, uh, 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 the wheel of, wheel of fortune is coupled with, ah, the hermit. Hmm. Spirit just said a change of oneself, a change in oneself brings a change to the external reality. And also, Leo, what I want to say about this is you need to look at really what's your heart's desire, what's really within you. And say to yourself, be honest with yourself, Leo. Be like, look, okay, obviously this is something that I wanted. So maybe I should follow through and honor it. Yeah. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to move over to part two, which is go going to be over on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon, I highly recommend that you get there. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Uh, also, if you would like a personal reading, I am available for that. Uh, you can email me at divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of that information can be found in the description box below. With that said, though, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>